These people fall in love with their hitmans and the sugar rays. Easily impressed, like magic with the look away. The punch is falling off me, like I was dipped in cooking spray. You'll take the stand and eight when I jab, jab, and hook away. I'm kind it's of tired of all this talk and everything. I'm just going to tell you this. I'm going to knock him out. That's all it is to it, and that's the bottom line. What's good with y'all? Welcome to the channel. Just wanted to chop it up with my people real quick. So listen, man, we got Roberto Durant, the hands of stone versus Manny. Pack him up, pack me and pack you out. Now, let's start this debate with Roberto Durant. Now, the hands of stone was a big lightweight. He was 5'7 with a 66 inch reach. And I wouldn't be surprised if he rehydrated to about 145 or 150. Now, from the outside, Roberto Durant was very difficult to hit using face and head movements, bending at the waist to avoid shots. But Durant's whole game plan was to get on the inside using his feet and the double jab to close the distance. Now, boxing Durant from the inside was like trying to fight through quicksand as Sugar Ray Leonard. That's why in the second fight, he chose the boxing from the outside, taking away Durant's strongest attribute. Now... Roberto Durant was a master at dirty boxing using color ties, overhooks, and underhooks, forcing his opponents into power shots. Now, that was just a brief breakdown of Roberto Durant's technique. Let's move forward and break down Manny Pacquiao's technique. Now, Manny Pacquiao was 5'5 with a 67-inch reach. His technique is all based on his feet using great footwork angles and speed to create openings now manny pacquiao is a volume puncher with power in both hands he is able to throw combinations from any angle now that's my quick breakdown of manny pacquiao and his skill set now that i've given a brief breakdown of both fighter skills and technique i think this fight goes 11 rounds i think they both get dropped at some point but I think Manny Pacquiao's overall body speed and power and the angles is just too much for Durant. It's too much. I think it's just too much for him. Listen, man, Durant didn't have great feet. And Manny Pacquiao throws combination with power in both hands from every angle. I don't see Durant beating Manny Pacquiao. I can't say that. See, and, th and this is why I can't say it. We saw how Durant handles adversity. No moss. We saw, we saw how he handles adversity. Manny Pacquiao thrives in adversity. There's no quit in Manny Pacquiao, man. I can't give it to Durant. I just can't based off of no moss. Look, I got Manny Pacquiao beating Durant in the 11th round by knockout. Comment down below. Let me know who y'all got, man. Now, I know. People aren't going to be happy about me picking Pacquiao. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn. And here's why. A fighter's heart is everything, man. It's everything. And I know in a fight like that, someone's will, someone's heart is going to be tested. And when Durant's heart was tested, it stopped, man. He quit. No moss. Now, there's a little kid who ran away from home at 12 years old whose mom couldn't afford to feed him. That guy is the president of the Philippines right now. You think I'm going to tell him he can't beat Durant when he beat the streets? He survived at the age of 12? Hell no. Manny Pacquiao's heart isn't even that question. He has overcome every obstacle. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I'm out. Disrespectfully.